first. So we can go and start the ironing because you guys haven't actually seen it run yet. And I went out there this morning and both exhaust ports are actually filled with water. So I want to get it turned over and running. And then once it's all cleared out, I want to put it in the shed. Because it was sitting here and it pissed down the rain the other day. There's some petrol in there. Cool. Get rid of that. A little mile pod. And that is too risky to fall off. Uh, that'll work there. Perfect. Was it filled with water? No water. Fantastic. Ah, oh, keyway. I was looking for some of that. Get yourself up there. Can you see? Yes, you can. I'll zoom you in a little bit. First, I'll just crank it over and just. Uh, actually, I will put fuel in it straight away because this battery is not great. It's a little bit hot, to be honest. Ugh. Hey, it's dry. No water. Anything to connect the fuel pump to the fucking um, carb. Let's be honest, I've got the water out there, which makes me happy. Yee! <sighs> yeah, um, let's go into the carb. It should be connected there. And then there's only that little piece of, there's only a little piece of fucking pipe in the bottom there anyway. So if I can find some pipe, I'll rig it up properly. I'll try and start it. Alright, let's give it as well. Um, I put money on it, not even starting. Just because the fucking battery's dead. Let's try that again. <laughs> we'll put it back on charge and we'll give another go in about half hour.
that's pretty cool. Um, this is like rust proof paint which I put on and it's not really working, as you can see. But anyway, yeah, uh, it's got really nice and hot, there's plenty of airflow coming off of it. This side here seems to be a little bit less, but I think it's because the gasket around the air filter thing here is missing. It's like a rubber, big rubber ring which goes around the around the oil filter and seals to the shroud. Stops all the uh, shit getting out, basically. Um, I've got quite a lot of black down there because there's no gaskets on that exhaust. And I've got a big leak over here, which isn't surprising because this is actually duct tape. Well, kind of rip off duct tape, but still pretty good shit. Um, yeah, it was just a aid to kind of seal it up a little bit because the weld trying to fit these two small pipes into this bigger pipe weren't working so well. And it gets really fucking hot actually. I wouldn't have thought it would get that hot being this far away from the engine, but oh well. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I might even just leave it like this now because water's not going to be able to get into the exhaust like that. Still cool. Especially there being that many holes here, any water wants to get in, it'll just leak out here. Yeah, oh well. Pretty happy with that. I had to go and get some tools from the car because I had to put the manifold on quickly. Kind of did it up by hand and then just started up and let it warm up. I would have done a cold start but I'd already fired it a couple of times and you know it would have started anyway so there weren't much point starting filming again. I just wanted to get it started because I wanted that water out of there. <laughs> it's my own fault really isn't it? Oh well. This will be eventually going on the go-kart one day and I'm just not sure what day. <sighs> Body panels for the Peugeot, which I've been painting umpteen wires and other amounts of shit. And I've, I've got rid of all the shit from down here now. And that there's all rubbish. And in here, oh, yeah, by the way, guys, um, if you live in the UK, oh, I ain't got no lights in this, so I can't show you. Um, this Suffolk engine here, this orange one, that's been rebuilt it's for sale, it needs a carb though, but otherwise, it's been re rebuilt, it hasn't been started since. Um, this Honda GXV. 390 or 360, I think it's a 390. So 390 cc, single cylinder, four stroke, 13 horsepower. Pretty nice engine. Just had a new car put in it. Um, it needs oil and a plug and an air filter. I do have the air filter cover for it somewhere. Um, but yeah, that this generator engine, this is a GX3 200 clone. Uh, that's for sale. Uh, it has all the exhaust and everything with it. A new car because if you remember rightly, I set fire to this somewhere. I do have the box and an air filter for it. I just don't know where. Um, oh yeah, it's all down there. There's that Honda, that Honda clone engine, but that's for the go kart. If the owning doesn't fit, um, yeah. So that's a couple of engines there for sale. And also there is, if anyone wants parts for a steel engine. Um, I'm not sure where the steel engine is. Oh, there's this one here. It's a home light engine. Oh, there's a Honda GX200 engine. That's the L2. That's going. Uh, that actually runs really well, that little engine. It's hard to get it started. Well, it actually, no, it starts all right. But you, once it's started, you can't touch it for at least two or well, two to five minutes. Because the second you touch the throttle, it just stalls. Because it's so sensitive, it needs to be hot for it to work properly. This shitty, shitty little engine. Um, and it's probably the cheapest of them all. If you want it, you can have it for a fiver. I just want rid of the fucking thing. Seems a shame to throw it because it's actually pretty new. It's a shit engine though. Um, I do have the other half, half the strimmer, it's up there. Um, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. No, I've got plans for that actually now. I'm going to come to think of it. And this, uh, that steel thing there isn't for sale, but I do have the steel engine. Steel engine is. Is prob oh there it is, it's just down there, you can see it, the orange, it is there, it does run, but all the cowling stuff's broken because I ran it over the Land Rover at work, they bought a new one and this one was there and it was sitting around, they said, if you want to take the, the strimmer you run over, take it, but I'm putting that engine there onto this shaft, because this is a steel shaft and it is fucking epic, it's lovely, and I'm taking it down my partner's house because they need a decent strimmer. If not that, I'll probably put that one together and take that one down there too. If not, that one stay here. But, you know, I don't like that strimmer engine, that little, this little one down here. But I will keep it for the moment. I'll do another update soon if, uh, anything. Yeah, well, if anything changes, I'll let people know. But yeah, if there's anyone in the UK who wants an engine, let me know if it's a small engine like that little steel. I'm sure the steel one I can post. But that, no, that, no, this, definitely no. 
Um, that one there is possible, but you know, that chainsaw I want to fix up as well, so that's not going. Yep, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you're in the UK and you're looking for an engine you want to tinker around with, let me know. Um, the two, the Honda Clone and the actual Honda there, they're both collection only, and we'll talk about price as and when if anyone wants to buy one. So, yeah, that's about that. Purge, I'm not even going to go bother showing you because that thing's depressing me at the moment. I've got to get rid of all this shit so that there. If anyone wants a Peugeot bumper, it's a little bit scratched up, but it's in good nick. Um, and there, there were my. That's my wing and rear bumper. I tried an oil because I don't know which one of those engines, but one of them has leaked oil all over the shed floor. So, <laughs> oil isn't included in that engine, whichever, whichever one it is. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go and do some other stuff. Maybe do an update. Now I've got my new mouse, Rat9. It's in my bedroom. Mahaha. <laughs> Fucking awesome, that thing. So, yeah, anyway, uh, do another bit of the video later. Uh, maybe upload it separately.